What's up everybody? So this is where I'm at with the nail gun and uh, the whole front half is finished and I got the I got a Kydex Magwell and on the the jack holder it has a aluminum Magwell that I made and and uh, and around that I did the black Kydex and also I did some some um, some some forming to kind of make it still look like a nail gun and I kept the, the front half of the uh, nail holder so and uh, I put some nails in there and glued those nails in place so there's actual nails in the nail gun magazine or original nail gun magazine and it holds echo and gap mags so and maybe you can see the inside so there's the inside. You can see the max hop up unit and the the aluminum well. And you just load your mag up. And it's very positive and there's the mag release so far. And yeah, it works pretty good. Uh, Tracer unit works, so I'll demonstrate that. Okay. So, positive and negative. So, that's the internal tracer unit. So, yes, the gameplay will have tracer reviews. And what else? I'll let you hear it firing. Take it back. And you have to unload it with your middle finger, so that's pretty funny. So. I'll be flicking people off when I unload. And these are Echo One Gap mags. I think they hold like 130 to 120, maybe less or more. I'm, I don't remember. But originally they look like this, all solid metal metal uh, body. And I cut the metal the body off, so you kind of see the um, the inner shell. And, and this is significantly lighter than this. So this thing's actually very heavy. This is a high cap mag too. So, but yeah. And let's let me plug it in and and uh, dry fire it a little bit. So here's the trigger. Yeah, I have to get this in here like so. And then I have to make a trigger arm to the original trigger. That's gonna go here somewhere. Yep. So I'm gonna plug this in. Actually, uh, kind of hard to plug in. <laughs> so yeah, this has a pretty long barrel. I'd say it's like an eight-inch barrel. Uh, no, sorry, more like a six-inch barrel. And and uh, it it. It, should, it has a max hop up unit and a true hop hop up bucking, and uh, to me that's a tried and true like setup, and I've used that setup in uh, my VS, uh, VSS, and that that's and I use it in my transformer, and man that setup is that setup is good. It's 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 an R hop essentially, and you got a really precise max hop up unit. Alright, so I got it plugged up. Here's the nail gun and the trigger. So yeah, <laughs> it works. See it pushing the <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be pretty funny. Uh, I'm gonna be testing it out at TechStar, the Houston field, and it's like um, it's right in the West Oaks Mall area on Westheimer and and Highway Six. So uh, that field is really, 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 really cool. So if you're in the area and you've played at uh, other local fields a little bit too much, you might want to check that field out. So. That field is like a CQB arena, and it's basically uh, just super close. And the games are fast, and um, 
Yeah, that field is really cool. The owners are some of the coolest people you ever meet. So, yep. So, yeah, that's it. I got to do the trigger unit. Got to do the bottom and the tracer. And I have a switch for the tracer unit. And some cosmetic things to keep it looking like a nail gun. So, alright guys, stay tuned. And thanks for all the subscribers. I think I got like 260 something subscribers uh, just through social media. And uh, I got like 300 something. <laughs> or 200 as well from Scott. So, and and thanks. Thanks everyone for sharing. So, alright guys. So, I will keep working on this and stay tuned. Please like and subscribe.